Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what systems configuration you need for your video editing software, DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. So, first thing that you guys are going to be needing to look at is your CPU. In DaVinci Resolve, there is many different ways you can use it. It is a audio, it is a video cutting, it is a video fusion, it is a video color. So depending on what you need, is going to be depending on each of these segments. So let's go for the CPU. You're going to need mainly the most if you're going to be doing color and fusion. Usually cut doesn't really matter much to CPU. Now if you're going to be doing effects, um, the CPU can ch differ pretty big. So I advise you to get a very strong CPU. Now what is a very strong CPU? It doesn't matter the number if it's an i7, if it's an i5. It matters how many cores and at what gigahertz they go to. So I advise you to get at least 4 to 6 cores at the least. And gigahertz, what can I tell you? But more gigahertz is going to be changing more of your simple one thing differences. And more cores are going to be helping you more to add like fusion stuff and big stuff. And then gigahertz, like I said, more like color, like adding a color grade or whatever. And playing it back. So that's more about gigahertz, I think. So now we're going to be getting to the next segment. And that's going to be your very cool graphics card. So graphics cards can vary extremely around the price point. So... First of all, you're going to want to see if you're getting an AMD or a NVIDIA. Okay, so those are the two big companies in the game. And it also is going to be depending now on what you're going to be doing and on what software you have. Now, you're probably telling me, well, it's DaVinci Resolve. Well, no. So there's DaVinci Resolve Free and DaVinci Resolve Studio. And the main difference is the Studio uses the GPU a lot more and it has some special GPU features. So, if you're getting the free one, it still doesn't matter your GPU, but not as much. So, I'd advise you to get maybe a, 20, a RTX 2060 or something around that range. But, if you're getting yourself the full version of DaVinci Resolve, then you're probably going to want at least 2070, 2080, 2080 Ti, whatever you can with your price point. Now, it also depends if you're doing 4K or not, 8K, whatever. And even 16K, but most people don't really do that. So, 8K and 4K, you're probably going to want at least a 2070 for 4K and a 2080 Ti, I guess, for 8K. But, full HD, you should be totally fine. Amazing, great with the 2060. But also depends how much you're throwing at it. If you're building crazy titles with crazy effects, and obviously it's going to be much stronger than your GPU and you probably want more. But if you're just doing mainly color grading, maybe a couple titles, special kind of stuff here and there, you'll probably knock about with the 2060, 2070, that range. And supers pretty much are the same thing. So around that range. So now under that is still obviously usable, obviously workable. It's just how much your time is worth. So if it's worth a lot of your time, like every minute, you know, and you don't have a lot of it, I'm talking about time, um, so you'd probably want to go for higher, but if you're on the low budget, drive the 1650 Ti's and round that higher of the lower. And with AMD, there's a lot of AMD stuff. So I drive you to just look at pretty much how many gigabytes of... GDDR if it's 6 or if it's 5 and look so 11 is the best 8 is second 8 is like a 2080 and then if under that 6 whatever is just under so there's also some 2070s I think with 8 too so you're just gonna want to look at that and everything is pretty much good enough but if you want quicker stronger less crashes, you're going to want to go with higher, more expensive. So, that's mainly around the GPU. Now, RAM. RAM is another really, really, really important thing. So, RAM, you're going to want in DaVinci Resolve 16 a lot of RAM, because it is crazy hungry. And that's if you're going for Fusion and Video. 
again, cut page or edit page, you know, the simple stuff. You're probably gonna need 16, 8 could probably work, but I'd dry 16. And then if you want more, 32, 64, 128. That's much better. Now, I have a 32 and it works pretty good, but I do get crashes with um, Fusion and mainly only Fusion, which is pretty good. So, I drive 32 or 64 for beginning and at the higher end. Now, lower set, 16. That sounds good. So, again, this is the Ventress of 16 and 6.1, whatever, whatever it is now. So... I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And please comment on the videos that you guys want to see. Because I don't know. Just tell me.